Ding Dong Drift! Bro, what the fuck? It's 420. Dogecoin day. It's full on fucking snowing. We fertilized the yard yesterday so this little shit can't go in the yard. So I gotta walk his little ass so he gets to take a shit. What the fuck, man? It's snowing on April 20th. Last year it snowed like April 14th or something. If you ever need another reason to not live in the Midwest, we are four days away from April. May. May. Shoot. Yeah, this is, this, it's April 27th and we have a blizzard and winter storm warning. How's it going, ding dongs? Last week, I stripped the whole engine bay down to just the bare nothing, just the minimum stuff that's left. And this week I'm gonna paint it. First, I'm gonna go and remove some uh, brackets. See, I already started cutting those uh, welds off. Gonna remove this one, this one, and then Fill in all the holes that I'm not going to be using for anything. So like that small hole. Uh, all those small holes over there. It's a bunch of little holes everywhere. So all these are going to get welded shut. I'm going to cut a bunch of stuff off. I want to make the whole engine bay nice and smooth. First I'm going to go get some wheels. I'll be right back. We'll get started on all the cutting and stuff. Alright, I'm back. Got the new wheels. These things look sick. Check that out. 17 by 9 plus 2, I think? Something like that? I don't know. Some crazy or low offset. But... 245s, 40. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be. Those are gonna be my drift spares. And uh, my MB battles are also gonna get some 245 40s because stretch tires are dumb. Gotta go full, full width. It looks sick. Meaty tires. I'm gonna throw those on real quick because I wanna get the winters off of it just for no reason. Because Tyler wants his LS wheels back as well. He's gonna unmount the winter tires off of those for me. And my winter tires, I'm just going to shred through the summer. I don't think I'm going to drive this car in the winter anymore. I want to try to keep it, try to make it last. Because <laughs> it's um, it's a little bit of rust and I'd like to keep it somewhat clean. Let me throw these wheels on. We'll see how they look on the car, if they even fit. I'm probably going to have to trim the fenders a little bit. I haven't done that on this on the rear yet. The front is trimmed, but the rear is not. So, Let's see how they look. Looks like I'm pulling, pulling fenders, or pulling quarters this year. That's so good. Fuck yeah, that looks like a fucking race car. That's what I want. Yeah, buddy, look at that meat. <laughs> when I lifted up the back, a bunch of gas started pouring out the return line. Just looped it around to the feed line. This is going to look a little trippy, but I got this new lens. That I can finally show you guys up close. This is what I'm using to drill out the spot weld. So you just, you know, punch, then this goes in that point. It's like a little hole saw. And it saws the weld off, and then you can just use an angle grinder and zip that off the rest of the way, and there you go, you got a nice clean little spot. Lens attachment thingy. So I could actually show stuff up close until I get a new camera.
wheel wells are cut out. I don't know if you can tell though, they're not symmetrical. See, this has this, and this side doesn't. And here's the reason why. This side was super rusty, so I had to cut it out. Now, the frame rail, see there's a gap. Got the welder, gonna zap that closed. Maybe I'll weld up some other holes like these little ones. I don't really need them for anything. Here's where I'm at. So I went a little overboard and started filling in all the little holes. I was planning to do just this. See, I fixed that up. And this, which is a mistake I made earlier. But then I went ahead and filled in all the holes that are not going to be used and that are visible. So those are all gone. Those holes, those holes aren't going to be used for anything. The stuff in the back I'm going to leave because I might mount catch cans or something like that in there. This is the old holes for the AC line that used to run here that's gone now so I don't need to worry about that. That's gonna wrap it up for today. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm gonna grind down all these little holes that I welded and start sanding. <laughs> Sylvia, what are you doing? You wanna say hi? Sylvia? You wanna say hi? No. Why are you making faces? Come on. I'm gonna grind everything down and then just scuff everything up with scotch Bright. I don't really care about this you know being amazing paint job so I'm just gonna scuff it up make the visible parts you know nicer than the than the rest of it and then just uh, go ham on it by the way if you're wondering what color I'm gonna paint it's fucking yellow yellow gang yellow everything these fucking wheels look so sick God damn, I might have to get some of those as like my main wheels so those MB, I mean, the MB, the battles will look nice once I get them powder coated. So I'm going to powder coat them white as well. I decided I'm just going to do white. Well, the plan was to paint today, but it's kind of cold. It's only like 50 degrees out. And anytime I try to paint when it's a little colder out, it turns out terrible because the paint doesn't dry. And it just starts to run a bunch. So I'm not going to paint today, but I am still going to prep it for paint. <laughs> like 45 right now and tomorrow is 76 and then the next day is 82 so shit makes no sense. I'm working on uh, getting the steering shaft released. I'm just gonna pull the steering rack out. I think I'm just gonna loosen it. The only reason I want to do this is so that I can move the steering shaft so that I can move the fuel rails so I can paint here nicely because right now they're stuck behind the shaft so. Well, 
was a pain in the ass. This was really stuck in there. So I took the bolt out completely and it's somehow stripped on the middle. <laughs> you can't see it, but yeah. The bolt somehow stripped in the middle. And then I just used the screwdriver and hammered it out that way. So that's out. Steering racks out. So now I can move fuel lines when I'm painting and I can get a nice coat here instead of, you know, it looking shitty having gaps and stuff in the paint so that's gonna wrap up today it's so cold dude i am freezing my ass off right now so yeah i'll be back tomorrow or tuesday today's sunday so if this video is not up tuesday that means that i painted tuesday because tomorrow 75 and then tuesday 82 degrees it's a beautiful sunny day it's like 75 out finally paint the engine base. The only problem is it's super windy so hopefully the wind doesn't just like blow the paint away and I can't paint. I'm gonna first mask everything off that I need to mask off and then just blast it with paint or it'll be done. I started uh, painting it and I think it's just too windy today. So I'm going to wait until tomorrow so this video is going to be late but it's just too windy right now and it's like I have to be super close to the you know the pan the whatever the, the surface to paint it which can cause runs and then also the overspray just goes flying across the whole fucking car so don't want that either although I am going to clay bar and polish this thing this year so it doesn't really matter. I am going to get overspray off but just to avoid it, I'm gonna do this tomorrow. Sorry, this video is gonna be late. What you doing? What are you doing? Are you, are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Yeah. Oh my god, so happy. So happy. Good boy. Good boy. So, yeah. I'll be back tomorrow. It's Tuesday and you can probably hear it's still really windy. I'm gonna try to just paint it with the hood propped up. Maybe that'll help with some of the wind, but it's still pretty bad it seems like. I'm just gonna send it and hope for the best. Hopefully it's not too windy. Just wait for all the, you know, gusts to pass. And then as the, as the sun sets, usually the, the wind calms down a little bit, so I'm probably gonna finish up towards the end of the day when the sun's setting. Hopefully the wind comes down, but for now I'm going to do the primer and all that. So.
da. Yep, that was pretty sketchy. There it is. Now I'm contemplating if I should clear coat or not because I feel like every time I clear coat something, I ruin it. I think I'm just gonna leave it. It looks good enough. It's shiny everywhere, and there's. I'm just gonna let all the little leaves and everything fall in it and dry out because there's nothing I can do about it. I'll just pick them out when they're dry. It's gonna wrap up this video, ding dong. I'm gonna also paint the headlight support the brake booster and a couple little things yellow as well to those of you that have been waiting for your corner lights the bolts have arrived all the corner light orders are going to be shipping now so i have enough bolts for those i want to thank you guys again for those orders those really helped me out with buying all these parts and everything so if you want to support me and help me buy more you know parts and make more videos for you guys go check out the products that i sell for this car and other cars as well thank you all it means a lot if you're not subscribed yet make sure you subscribe i have a lot of videos coming up as you can see got a lot of shit going on here so there's a lot of cool stuff coming next week it's gonna be the engines they're gonna get torn down cleaned up and all the parts swapped and getting the motor ready to go back in the car all right ding dongs it's gonna wrap it up i'll see you guys next week peace Do you have your passport? Did you get your passport?